Lukas Hofer, Italy, and Simon Schemp, Germany, and third, Arne Pfeiffer, Germany. And before we come to the individual questions to the athletes, we would like to hear a little bit how it could come to these two first positions. Please. Or Juna, Assistant Press Director. Yeah, thank you very much, Per. First of all, I also congratulate the guys because the conditions were really extreme hot today. But uh, to explain this situation, because you already see that in first we have this result that uh, Simon Schem was 0 0.3 ahead of Lukas Hofer. But if somebody of you was really careful with the TV graphics, there was for a slight piece of the time 0-0 zero, zero on the graphics. And after that, uh, the timing company control all systems. And to say very simple, you saw that Simon Schemp was coming to the finish line almost together with, an, I guess, was athlete from Czech Republic. And the photo cell, which is taking the time, was taking the time from the Czech athlete. After all checking all the system and also the photo finish, it was exactly 0 0.3 seconds before Simon Schemp came in the cell. But for the more technical, I will ask uh, Christian from CV Data Company because they discovered this mistake. I can only say that it was a good job from the timing company because it would be a little bit unfair if we stay with the results, which was not correct. So um, when the athletes finish, we have three different systems recording times, the transponders, the photo beams and the photo finish. So the rules say for the sprint and individual that the photo beam is the time, the official time of the athlete. Now when two athletes come together, there's some real-time processing of all the signals arriving to the system in that moment. Because the fact is that we want to have the result in real time. When the athlete crosses the finish line, we need to have the correct result and not five seconds later. If we could give it five or ten seconds later, we could avoid such mistakes. But we need to have some logic which assigns in real time from this pool of impulses which comes the correct time. Now, when this happened, if you saw when Simon Champ arrived, the time was jumping back from 0.9, the tenths of a second, the last point of the time, to 0.6. And I immediately was a little bit uh, alerted and said, what happened here? And then we were checking our log files and our systems, and uh, we were evaluating the impact and talking to the jury, and this took a while. So some of you might wonder why this took a while, but we needed to be 100% sure if we do like this, because it's an important decision. And then we showed our evidence to the jury and uh, said that th they had to be tight on the first place to, be, to give the most fair result we can give for this race. So. No, it's the photo finish. It's normally it's not used on the individual and sprint. It's just used to break the ties in the master and pursuit. But of course, we see the time difference also there. The photo finish is just a backup system in the sprint and individual just to resolve issues like this. So we check this from the manual times. The, back, the, backup, sys the backup system did, give, did do uh, the exact same behavior as the main system, so it gave this made the same assumption to give the, the first place only for Simon Champ. But uh, uh, so this was how it, was how it is working. So both then we checked the printout, the raw printout from the time and saw that there was another photo beam which was not used, which was three tenths of a second later. And this was the real photo beam for Simon Champ because the first one was the photo beam used for the Czech athlete. I, sorry, I forgot the name. Thank you, Christian, for the explanation. And please stay here for yeah. uh, questions, individual questions afterwards. But now back to the athletes. Lucas, it hardly can be more dramatic uh, today. First World Cup win. This in Elmtals. How was it like to be top of the podium here in Andeserva? Because to remind, the last win of an Italian athlete was Johann Passler, 1988 here in Antisella? Uh, what can I expect more as an athlete? Uh, I'm training always here in Antolz, so for me it's the nearly the home place, also if I don't live here. But it was a really good race for me today, uh, especially on the skis. Maybe one mistake too much, but at the end, with the result, uh, together with Simon, I'm really happy about it. 
Uh, also, if you are both on the first place, um, <coughs> and I hope it's, it will get a, a nice race also for tomorrow. You had the season six and seventh position as season best. What made you so strong today? <laughs> uh, I don't know ex uh, exactly, but uh, what was really important today, a good key, and uh, for that I must really thanks my ski mates. They made an <laughs> incredible work. I never had some sk uh, some ski like this. It was really impressed. And at the end, I was uh, I was not sure some days ago that I will start. I got sick after uh, some races in Ruppoling, but at the end, I I got a, a better feeling on the last two days. And I in the morning, I thought, okay, I I will try to start it, but it gets better and better, and it seems it was <laughs> a great feeling at the end. And how were your feelings? I mean, you had a really up and down a roller coaster after the competition. First coming in <laughs> as, as a first, then you saw Simon uh, mixing up and, and being first, and finally you both standing up there. So, w how were the minutes? Uh, <laughs> the first moment I was really happy when I arrived at the finish line. Then I saw that there is Simon coming with 0 0. Then he passed in front of me. Then, uh, then it was. I was really set about uh, 0 0.3 second because it's really less the the distance. And after some times, it was yeah, it was okay for me because I was on the podium also on my home place. And just some time before we went up for the prize giving <coughs> ceremony, we saw Booth that we was on the first uh, that we were on the first place. And I get only more and more happy then. Simon, in Le Grand Bonnard, in relay, beaten by Anton Schipulin and Ruppolding by Landertinger, who is really a mayor of a second, uh, does it make up now for other close decisions? <laughs> yeah, it seems like, but yeah, first of all, I'm very satisfied with my race. I felt not so good in the morning, and uh, now I'm first with Lukas Hofer. Um, yeah, it's an incredible day. And in 2009, 2010, your second position was in Honecon. That was so far your best. And um, how is it now really to be on top? Is it uh, you can't believe it or? Um, yeah, I, I, I get uh, um, every every place in in the top ten, but only uh, the first place is missing. And now I'm I'm together with Lucas at the podium on on the top, and yeah. It's a good feeling. How much influence the new snow had on the competition? Yeah, I don't know exactly because I was at the warm-up loop and um, I've not. Uh, I don't um, know how how um, how how much different um, between between the first starter and and the last starter is on on the lab and. But I think we German have a, or I had a good material today and the, the speed on, on the <coughs> track was also good for, for <laughs> us and yeah, it was a perfect race. And first podium in an individual competition this season, how much of a relief is this for you today? Oh, it's a very good feeling. Last year I had no podium in individual races, so it was a hard year for me and today, um, yeah. I reached the podium again and it's the first time that I'm on third place so it was a gap in my biographies also so I filled the gap today so I'm very happy and I had a clean shooting in sprint um, uh, some races I always missed the last shot and one or two misses in standing and well, one one or yeah, so I had a long time without a clean shooting in sprint so it was very important to, uh, for me to, to be clean today at the shooting range and I feel good, we had good skis and I'm, I'm very happy that we are two Germans on the podium. It was a, it's, it was a long time ago that we had a, a result like this. So we are, it's very good for our self-confidence and I think we are prepared for the Olympic Games. Always is Antwerp a good place for you? What makes it so special? Oh, I like the tracks. Um, they are very yeah, harmonic. They are n n nice to, to compete on, and but it was not so easy today because of the snow. But I think it was almo almost almost um, yeah, it was a very fair race because it snowed the ho um, over the whole race. 
the snowing didn't stop uh, at some time sometimes so it was very good and I think the um, Okar here made a good job the track was well prepared for these conditions so yeah I'm very happy to be here on podium again <laughs> do we have questions no individual ones thank you very much